So we've been in California the last three days. Holy moly. <laughs> I had cleaned the rattlesnake enclosures like a few days What'd before. What'd you put in there? Uh, soil? Gardening soil? Evidently it had seeds in it. Apparently if you don't want gardening soil, what kind of seeds are those? I don't know. What are we growing? Oh, there's a lot of seeds in there too. It's in both of them. He's are like, those... please help me. Oh my god, there's sunflowers. I can see the black oil sunflower seeds there. Oh. What? I'm sorry. I bet I know what happened. What? The squirrel ate the sunflower seeds and put them oh in the soil. Oh my god. Yep, that's probably it. We did see a squirrel in our garage in the seed bag. <laughs> that sun snake is please. Please help me. They're taking over. <laughs> Okay, enough is enough. I can't see the rattlesnakes anymore, or I barely can see them. I see him back there. I don't know where the other Massasauga is though. And for this enclosure, our Southern Pacific, he's way back there, which is unusual for this guy. He's almost always begging with his adorable puppy face up front for food. And the fact that he's not there and hasn't been for the last like five, six days tells me he doesn't like these plants. They don't like their plants. The one that I can't find did not want to eat last time, which means he's very unhappy because he eats all the time. So enough is enough. Uh, since I can't locate them very well. That means I can't safely take care of these snakes. Like he needs water, but I haven't been able to give him water since yesterday because I didn't know where he was until just now. So you know what? We're just going to clean these out. I'm going to pull out these sunflower plants because they are just a nuisance at this point. All right, let's start with you room service. Room service is our, I can't zoom in totally far because you know he's a rattlesnake. He is our Southern Pacific rattlesnake. That was a rescue situation. If you want to learn more about him, you can watch the video I'll put in the description. But this dude is not happy. He's been in the back for the last couple of days on and off, mostly spending his time back there, which is not his normal spot. So he doesn't like these plants. So we're going to, hi buddy. First, I'm going to pull him out of here. And if the camera's off, I apologize. I have to keep my eyes on him though, for safety reasons. All right, dude. Time to go in your bucket. I promise your enclosure won't be as infested with sunflowers when I put you back. Look at all these sunflower plants. This is ridiculous. Darn squirrel. Jesus. All right, well, do I pull all of them out or do you? Should I pull all of them out or should I just do like some of them? I would leave some of them in there. Some? It kind of makes it look cool until it's going to explode up and yeah. then they're just going to mash against the top. But yeah, I think we should leave some of them at least. Some is like an experiment to see yeah. what happens? Yeah. Okay, I can do that. So if I just like yank most of these, oh my gosh, are they going to pull out pretty easily? Oh no, they're really rooted in there. Oh no, this is going to be more difficult than I thought. You can go in there until I figure out what to do with you. All right, I think these are reptile safe, so maybe we'll feed them to a reptile in our zoo after this. Oh my gosh, but first I have to clear out this ridiculous mess of sunflowers. not a ton of run on this side of the enclosure where the water oh my gosh never mind oh my gosh they're underneath the water dish what they're in between the plants they're against the backdrop they're in the dvd tray oh my gosh look at all of this Oh, it's taking all the dirt with it. Oh, I'm gonna have to replace all that too. Are you gonna replace it with the same dirt that had the sunflowers in it? Uh, no, I'm gonna make sure I use fresh, clean dirt without sunflowers <laughs> in it. Cause I don't want to run into this again. Look, I already have an entire bowl wow, full. The tortoises are gonna be stoked. Oh my gosh. ends. It goes on forever. Ta-da! Look at this! You can actually see the floor again. I left some because I actually don't mind there being some live plants in there. I think it looks pretty cool, but we didn't need the overwhelming amount of sunflowers in here. So I left some kind of around the edges and towards the back so that it doesn't interfere with my viewability of the rattlesnake or of, of room service is his name. And now I can, I mean, 
she's not in here, so I can just safely pour that in there anyway. And now if I notice his water is like getting low, I'll be able to more easily locate him to determine if he's in a safe position for me to add water or if I just have to yoink him out to, to do so. There we go, we've got doors on. And by the way, this enclosure is that old three by two by two foot that I think I built in a video. It's the Custom Reptile Habitats like Snake Discovery brand. It's been holding in there. It's been doing really well, even though it doesn't have garter snakes in it anymore. Instead, it has bucket rattlesnake. Also, I made sure to give him this rock. This is his begging platform. He sits here and begs for food. Like I sit and work at my computer here. Yeah, it's work. You're not sitting there playing video games. I'm not playing video games at all. I don't know what you're talking Pal about. I'm not playing Pal World ever. Never. I love that game. Anyway, he sits here and just pokes his little head up and begs constantly for food. So now he should be able to use that again since he hasn't been able to for the last week or so. I guess that'll be the ultimate test is if he's sitting there. But now it's time. By the way, look. I have a bowl full of sprouts and like almost half of a garbage bag full of food. It's ridiculous what I pulled out of that. But now it's time for him to go back in. There we go. Hey buddy, guess what? There aren't plants taking over your enclosure anymore. Come here. Come here, you're such a good snake. Here you go, room service. Back in your enclosure. Actually, I'm gonna put you down here. Look, look, you can move around. Yeah, there's no plants underneath that rock anymore. You don't have to be trapped up against the back. Look at your beautiful rattle. You're such a good snake. All right, there we go. His enclosure is back to normal. And now I get to do it a second time. Okay guys, there was one on the hammock and now there isn't. So not only do I have to find one of you now, I have to find both of you hidden in this sunflower forest. Let's see, where are you guys? You, oh, I see one. There's. One back there. Now these are Western Massasaugas. They were born in our garage. I think I've explained their story before, but they're just over a year. Actually, they're about a year and a half old now. And they are super cute. If I could get you out. Guys, how am I gonna, how am I gonna do this? Hello, hi baby number one. Can you come out so I can put you in a bucket? Come here cutie. Come on, no, I'm not feeding you right now, I'm sorry. Oh, and there's one right there. See, this is what I'm talking about. You see all these plants and there is just a rattlesnake chilling right there. You can barely see him. That's why it's not safe for me to take care of these guys anymore. As cute as your little face is just in the plants, you are so stinking cute. Okay, come here. There we go. We have a Mississauga. There's one baby. Okay. Oh, he's not happy. He's rattling. Okay, baby number two. Oh no, you're not happy either. I know, it's because I can't reach you safely. So I have to kind of poke and prod until you're in a good spot. There we go. Here's baby number two. You look so good. Yeah, you guys were on display at the state fair last summer and we're planning on bringing them back this summer too. They did really well. They're growing so fast. There you are, you beautiful Massasauga. You're so pretty, aren't you? Oh, you're such a good snake. Look at your cute little spots down your back. Aw, if only I could touch you. Okay, time for the bucket. Oh, listen to that. Oh, that is the sound of a baby, or in this case, a yearling rattlesnake rattle. It's very high pitched because they're so young. Safety first, guys. You chill in there, and then I'm gonna fix that. Oh my gosh, look at this. There's so much. This is insane. Can I just grab a whole handful? Ugh. Oh my gosh, it's pulling up the whole substrate layer. Ah, uh, great. Okay, I need to show you the scene of the crime. Over here, we've got our seeds for our bird feeders, which obviously the sunflower seeds have been raided by Steve the squirrel. And what I did not realize though, is he was taking those seeds. Oh gosh, look, they're down there too. And he was taking those seeds and hiding them where we keep our potting soil and rattlesnake substrate. Oh my gosh, he knocked over a flower pot too. Really, Steve? You had to do all this? There he is. Curse you, Steve. Ta-da! Take a look. You can actually see the bottom of this enclosure too. It looks great. So I left a little tuft of plants back there for the same reason I think some would look nice, just not as many as there were. And since Massasaugas are kind of a, a, a higher humidity species, like their nickname is the swamp rattlesnake, I like to add some water to the substrate, which I'm sure will help the sunflowers back there too. I have to fix that rock. But yeah, this I think is going to make them very happy. All right, rattle bucket. 
And it's time for you to be opened, I'm actually gonna close one door for safety reasons. We're gonna crack the lid. And, oh, oh, they stopped. They started rattling. Rattle bucket, activate. <gasps> it worked. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, now he's upset. He's not gonna do it if you want him to do it. As soon as you turn off the camera though, he will do it. Yeah, of course. Come here, my babies. Uh, hi. Oh, you're so cute. Yes, you are. Okay, man, you're getting so big. So these are a pretty small species of rattlesnake. They only get like two to maybe three feet. So these guys are actually quite big already. Okay, 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 okay. What do you think? Go check it out. I can actually see you now. All right. Baby number two. Oh, you're pudgy. Look oh, at that. look how chunky he is. Look at that belly. This is the one that continued eating. Yeah. <laughs> the other There's one. The side. Really little rat. Oh, the rattle's grown so much. Yeah, they have multiple segments now. Look at that cute little rattle. Aww. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Okay, here you go. Go with your brother or sister. I don't know. I haven't probed either of you. Aww, we can see our rattlesnakes again. Yeah, I like the little tuft of sunflower you left back there. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I wanted some still in there because I like I like the look of greenery. And since these are like a swamp rattlesnake, oh, it makes sense for them to have some. That one wants food. Yeah, Look well, at his face. Well, you, did, you didn't want to eat a couple days ago when I offered I, you food. Now the sunflowers are gone. Yeah. Feed me. <laughs> I guess now I have to feed them. Yeah. All right, I guess I'll do that in today's video, too. I'm sure you... the pudgy one will eat, too. Probably, <laughs> yeah. Okay, you can, you can you go back in there, kind of? No, okay. No. Hooray, we cleaned them up. And we have a bowl full of sprouts. Yeah. And a bag almost full of sprouts. So what that tells me is if you want sprouts... Just get dirt sunflower with seeds. sunflower seeds. Yeah. yeah, and they will grow and take over. So now, what do we do with these? I think Sharon will eat them. I think we have to offer them to Sharon. It's the next day, and we are at our facility. In case you couldn't already tell yeah. by the yeah. change. And here's Sharon. We have a bowl full of these sunflower sprouts, which are actually a pretty healthy treat for herbivores or omnivores. Even uh, we already may have tried to feed some of our rescue bearded dragons some of these, and none of them wanted to eat. But I think Sharon is going to Sharon love eat. these. Sharon, do you want some sunflower sprouts? Oh, what is that? Is it, does it look tasty? Oh, yep. I figured she would like these. There you go. Go, Sharon, go. Take care of these sunflowers that were taking over the rattlesnake enclosures. Oh, get really close. Let's do some ASMR. Nice. Ah, uh, she approves. Yeah, she likes the sunflowers. So we'll probably just make a bunch of salads from these because the bearded dragons will eat them. They just don't want to eat on camera. And we have box turtles in our rescue program. We have a, blue, a couple blue tongue skinks in the rescue right now. So we will be able to put all of these sprouts to good use for sure. And again, these are actually a really healthy snack for reptiles and other animals too. These are a really healthy snack for birds. And so humans. And humans. You can eat the stem, you can eat the leaves, the whole thing. So if you want evidently a very easy to grow sprout for your animals at home, plant some sunflower seeds. Yeah, apparently you can just let squirrels do it for you and mm -hmm. then you use the dirt. Yep, thank you, Steve. They're super easy to uh, sprout. We did it on accident. Yeah, really, and they grew very fast. Well, I think she's gonna be happy for a while now. Yep. Here, have some more. Okay, so the next day we're back at home and oh, yay, room service, you're on your begging rock. Yay, that means you're happy again. Hey buddy, are you begging for food? You're not like cowered in the back or hiding where I can't even see you. You're back in your favorite spot. Okay, so that means he is, oh, oh my gosh. Are there already, ah, oh, there's already new sunflower sprouts. Gosh, really? Okay, so they might take over again. I guess we're gonna find out. Those in the back that I left are doing great. Oh my gosh, there they are again. There's already new sunflower sprouts. Gah, okay. But look at that, the mess is so nice. Oh, you are visible. Where's the other one? There are two in here. You under, oh yep, there he is. He's just underneath the cork in back there. You can't see very well because he's blurry, but that's the second one. Okay, so you're both on that side. That means my plan is to actually add 
isopods to both of these enclosures because the isopods will help kind of clean up any poop so that I don't have to like pull them out with a hook every time they poop to safely clean it. I'm gonna let the isopods do some of the work. So since the Southern Pacific is actually a somewhat more arid species compared to the Massasaugas anyway, I'm gonna give him some Oreo Crumble Prunosis. So these guys are a powder species, like powder orange. So they're very fast moving. They don't mind arid or drier climates and they do really well. I think he's good. these are gonna do really well with him. They're just the uh, Oreo Crumble color variation. So we sell these in our store. They seem to go over really well. Well, so we're gonna give some of these along with some springtails to room service. Here we go. We officially have isopods and springtails in with you. Yes, you, you're so cute. And then since the Massasaugas prefer more of a, tr not tropical, but I mean, they're a, more of a swamp or wetlands type uh, rattlesnake. So we're gonna give them a more like higher humidity tolerant or wetter environment tolerant species. This is actually my favorite type of isopod. These are gem mixes, AKA jelly bean isopods. So they're a type of armadillidium. So they have that rounded top or carapace and they're more of like the roly poly, like they actually roll up. But they're called jelly beans because they come in all sorts of fun colors. Oh, and he just fell. So these are my favorites because of all their cool colors. They're very shiny and rolly. We're gonna give a variety to the Massasaugas. We've got some springtails in here. And there we go. We have planted our isopods so you guys can clean up the poop in here so that I don't have to quite as much. Hooray! There you go, do your job, isopods. And now for a final bit to this video, we are going to feed the Massasaugas. Now is the official test to see if the Massasaugas are gonna eat, which implies that they are comfy and happier with their enclosures. So I have a couple of mice with me today and I'm gonna feed them with these kitchen tongs because they're too big now for me to safely feed them with tweezers. So yeah. I don't use these anymore. Yeah, you can see one's looking already. Yeah. Yep, there he is. He's looking at us. So hopefully that's a good sign. Actually, I peeked before because I always want to make sure I know where they both visibly are before I open the door and they're both under the cork. Okay. So, We'll see if oh. the one in back comes out. Wait, no, that's just his neck. Never mind. Yeah, okay. So we will find out. And Ed is here filming because I have to keep my eyes on them. Okay, I cleaned out your enclosure, redid it. It's nice and clean now. Do you want a mouse now? Oh, oh well, one struck. The one in the back struck. Okay, so there's. Oh, and you struck again. Okay, so he. Wow, he really wants that food. <laughs> yeah, so he's happy. Now I just need you to strike. Will you please strike this mouse, sir? The other one might. Yeah, he might strike again. We can also leave it there and see if he just wants to eat. I yeah, guess. one of them does prefer to just be drop fed, so I'm just gonna leave that there for him. I'm going to assume since the other struck, that means he is happy with this. Yeah, we'll come back now. in like five, ten minutes and see if they're eating. Yeah, and we are also going to feed room service. So he is in a weird spot though. He's like all the way up there. He's climbing yeah. all around. So I think he also approves of his having main... space back. Yeah, having space, not having an enclosure being taken over by sunflowers. So let's see, are you happy enough to eat now, dude? Here you go, buddy. Do you want this mouse? Yes? Oh, yay! Oh, All right. Big strikes. I will leave it on this ledge for you. All right, he's happy too. Yeah, all the rattlesnakes are happy. Well, I guess we'll see when they eat. Yeah, we'll let them sit for a little bit and find out later. All right, it has been 12 hours because I forgot we fed them last night and now it's the following morning, but they're gone! Both the mice are gone, so the Massasaugas are definitely happy with their cleaned out enclosure. And room service, the Southern Pacific, we know is happy because I saw him earlier begging on his rock, so that's his sign that he's happy. So we're good to go! Hooray! Success! It only took about an hour of removing a bunch of sunflower sprouts, but I left a few behind as a memory of this event, and I don't think those few are gonna actually take over, so I think we're I think we're good. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Patreon backers, for your amazing support. I wish I could end with a rattlesnake on screen, but I, oh, there's one. There's room service. Bye, buddy. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.